Welcome to the grand final, everybody. We had some new challengers here for our European elite. That was Pinke and Dice, but they were struck down by Happy and Foggy. And so we get our grand final. Will we recreate the magic of ESL Cup 52 where Foggy finally dethroned the Emperor? Or will it be the same procedure as every Monday? That's the question here, $100 on the line. The lobby is already hosted. We've seen at DreamHack that Foggy couldn't do it there. Happy was the one um, winning DreamHack in Europe, obviously. It was a 3-1. to one. Also in the Abuser Cup, 2-1 uh, to one there. But Foggy always taking maps. The last time Foggy did not win a map was in May. So 10 months ago. So I think we're going to have ourselves a wonderful, wonderful grand final. At the moment, we're waiting for Foggy. Happy on the way, defeated Young Undead, Armin, and Pinke. Foggy went through Fleshless, Cement, and Dice in this 32-player grid. And we load in to map number one. This is the European Elite, as you know it. The tale of the tape, Happy Europe's Emperor. But Foggy, the only one who was able to defeat him in a best of five, coming from the West in the past four years. So... Yeah, this is uh, high stakes. Happy's biggest opponent in Europe is challenging him once again. It's super cool to see that Foggy is back at the ESL Cups makes this a lot more exciting than a final against Stranic or Sonic. No disrespect, but there it is. Game number one. Starting off with the new sub. Thank you, Shad. 16 month man. I uh, got a feeling that I got to contact you soon, by the way. So we got Happy, the reigning champion. In the upper right, once again in the green. And probably with a ghoul build once again. Kind of looks like it. Ghouls already. Don't see a second ziggurat yet, though. Is he going back to... Wait, there's also no fiends. Interesting. Could be a second necropolis then. Foggy on the other side with the keeper of the grove. He had wonderful strategies when he defeated Happy in this ESL final. But Happy took him a week. There's the second cigarette, by the way. Uh, took Happy a week and he figured this out and he got uh, pretty cool counters. And a lot of these counters involve... Oh, lightning shield on the Acolyte! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that screws with Foggy's creeping already. Oh, man. Oh, actually, it doesn't. I mean, the position is screwed already. And it's, of course, super annoying. Foggy, no! That's not how you want to start a grand final. The big creep gone. And this is not allowed against Happy. 92 XP missing. He's not messing up the creep this time. One ghoul is getting attacked, but he can... Mm, uh, he can move it on to Blight. This is the perfect creep right there. Perfect damage distribution as well. And this is something that is n happening to Foggy and a couple of Night Elves. This will never happen to Happy. Rough game, rough series already. Gloves and cloak, not the greatest. Foggy going for the moon creep route here, but can't really block. Has to use an entangle, blasting through the mana. Bash. Okay, but he's getting level 2 now, finally. Gloves of haste for him too. Not the greatest items for Foggy either. And Happy is following this up. With the same creep route at the Kobolds. Good detonate. Hitting two wisps. And that might be a chance here. But he used a lot of mana early. So this is not going to be easy. Especially not against Coil. And everything goes to Happy close to level 3. Couldn't even get a single ghoul I think. And you always have to be scared of Happy's ghoul blocks. And also the DK blocks to create more distance between the Keeper and the rest of the army. Wow, the Keeper can barely move. 
sick blocks. Okay, staff now. Or is Happy stealing it away? Nope. Okay, that's important, having the mobility. But yeah, the Keeper would be level 3 already. And that's a lot more damage. Murlocs are gone too. It's just not a good early game <laughs> at all. Tech at 40%. Very early expo that was always the key to victory. Channel points, 2 million for Happy, 300,000 for Foggy. That's about right, I guess, especially after this start. With ghouls, you have a way better weapon to counter expansions. And now it's level 3 versus level 3. Coral used aggressively, interesting. And this distraction is already stopped. There's also nothing you can really do against it. No Garks so far, we don't see a second Crypt. Could also be single Garks, could also be a rush to tier 3. So Foggy wants the follow-up is another question. Two archers here. The town is under siege. What's he waiting for? At the moment he's just playing with the keeper. Now tier two is done. Has the resources. Going for a demon hunter, the standard build. Oh, he's still getting blocked, isn't he? <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Was that even a question if he's getting blocked or not? Of course. Alrighty. Ghoul's all healthy. This one survives, doesn't need a coil, moves it far into the back. And the keeper gotta be a little careful. So far it's only archers. Oops, sorry. It's only archers waiting for the demon hunter going. Engines of wind! Whoa, is that the new counter? Against mass ghouls? Go hippo riders ASAP? If you go Hippo Riders ASAP, then this counters Gargs, doesn't it? But this means that the double or triple orb will take forever to get online. Thank you, Mr. Balloon, for the tier 1 sub. Demon Hunter can creep. Keeper is distracting. Lich is out. Gotta be careful of Coil Nova. Yeah, Hippo Riders. Okay. Assert dominance in the early game, but does that work out timing-wise? If Happy pushes this with ghouls, it definitely does! Invo potion, invo potion, invo potion, invo potion! Ooh, maybe not even forced to. I didn't panic at all. No, no, no. It's daytime, though. Four skeletons. Needs a wisp here. This is a kind of a good question. Why is there no wisps here? Hello, Nova! Hello, saved archer. Demon Hunter's back, still with an invul. Expo is still healthy, getting burned, and now Happy knows it's time for wor worms, fiends. Transition starts. Two fiends are already oh, kept them safe. You kind of need destroyers as well. Otherwise, the fiends die too quickly. But don't you need an alchemist for that strat to work? Foggy, no protection at this expo. No engine of war, no engine protector, no moon wells. Demon hunter not level 2. This is not looking good at all. So destroyers are coming. Web is finished. Frenzy is got this. Isn't this the perfect army? <laughs> Isn't this already the perfect army to counter this? Five hippo riders. Maybe they can buy time. Happy needs levels, that's for sure. But on AZ with ghouls, you can power level. Waiting for the orb. Tick, tick. There you go. How can you hold this? Fairy transition, still tier 2, no staff. There we go. 
But Foggy must oh, know that this is coming. Attack. No nature's blessing either. This push is so deadly. He denied the golem. Oh boy. Oh yeah, he denied the golem. H how has that happened? It's so crazy, right? The two biggest creeps. He, yeah. Okay. Coil, Nova, Wisps, gone. Frenzy Ghouls, Tree of Life, no nature's blessing. This looks like a Mission Impossible. Look how the Undead is tearing through these. Good coil. Hectic situation. Still able to do it. Okay, it's still five air units. And Tangle doesn't do anything. The Demon Hunter got to carry. Happy is losing units, but the trade is definitely going in favor of him. The question is, can he break this? The moon will was super nice. Oh, he's getting wept again. He's getting tor tortured in this fight. Okay, there's nothing left. A little bit of tickle damage. It's only the heroes, man. Isn't that crazy? But I guess... Fight reverses again. There is five wisps. Can he repair? One lousy wisp. Okay. Was that too late? Cool snipes, cool and lich on the wisps, and it's almost an insta kill. Are we waiting for like a saving timing or something? I doubt it. Like, sometimes we had this tier 3 tech by Foggy when we were, when are the mountain giants coming? When are the mountain giants coming? But mountain giants are not coming. Happy splits are incredible. Go for more attacks. Saves the statues. But again, no pressure on this tree. Invo potion before he's getting nuked again. It feels like Foggy is not doing damage for such a long time. GG. Yo, this was a very, very dominant one. AZ going to happy as so often. But you can't win games against happy if you deny 200 XP. It just doesn't work. So with AZ out... I wonder... If he can still win this. That was their AZ results in the past. At ESL, Happy won this. At Abuser Cup, Foggy won this. Yeah, Foggy wins this quite a bit but this is one of the best ghoul maps and happy with ghouls is a force so how does this game go if the experience goes to foggy Probably a little better. Everything would be better. The early game, the Keeper is more effective, slows Happy down a little more. In the late game, Demon Hunter is a higher level, can take the fight better. But yeah. <sighs> Echo Isles next. Foggy's anti-undead map. He's got... He, yeah, if, if he's not winning this, I don't see him winning in map. He has to! And Foggy on the left-hand side. This is not the warden position. You really want to spawn on the right-hand side, otherwise your engine can get cancelled. He's still going for it. Mm. 
Okay, happy with the fiend build. Okay, switching it up. Foggy. Is it the warden again? <laughs> okay. Okay, this can work as we saw at ESL Cup 52, where this was the winning map. And how does Happy play against this now? And what's the creeping? What's the creeping of Foggy? Happy certainly learned what to do. If Happy... Ooh, can he steal this already? Lightning shield. Oh, happy steals it. The shadow priest already gone. And with that, you have healing. You have healing against the shadow strike. You have some damage during the creep. This means... Uh... Oh! Did he get it? Oh, no, he didn't. That was so close, though. Can't allow to, s to donate experience again. <sighs> okay, crystal ball and experience goes to the one but fan right no shadow strike it is from downtown gets a oh actually not from downtown gets a wisp only that's level two shadow strike immediately but yeah happy has the shadow priest to heal against the shadow strike the betrayer of shadows so much pressure early on turns nighttime in a bit by the way, after the ESL Cup, we have the Dust League Europe drawings by Bidu, so don't go anywhere. Entertainment format coming to your home screens. Okay, this is not much experience on the DK, but you can speed this up down the road. The problem is the Warden isn't creeping one bit after this. All this chasing didn't do anything, did it? Act like they're still scouting for an engine of war, for a tree of life. A player's forces are under attack. And this is all with just an acolyte. Foggy gets the berserk. Okay, at least something. Keeps his wisp safe. Feels like he's getting more and more into the rhythm. But this is this really the tactic? Is this what Happy should fear? A warden in his face? Not really. You want the warden level 3 and 4, and that's not happening. Engine of War waddles over, but there's no Tree of Life. There is a tech at 60. But this is totally fine. Happy's tech is far ahead. Necropolis against the Warden, so the potential harass doesn't work out because you can reproduce the Acolytes. At least some leveling now, but it feels like this took forever. And very atypical for Foggy. That he's not cleaning up this expansion early. Like, not at all. No tier 2 expansion, nothing. So, Culver, Shadow Strike. Big one. Oh, one got it, actually. No, the DK got it, right? Otherwise, there would be no level up. I'm stupid. But where did the Warden level up? Little green? If only she had level 3. 
or Shadow Priest. Now it's level 3, but it's too late, she's too hurt. This is also big damage. There's two more coils, Lich is coming. Okay, Foggy, you need to get something done. Rushing tier 3 instead. I mean... There's no ghouls. Mountain giants can certainly have an effect. Warden doesn't even have a staff. Reveal probably scouted this. He's happy he's still close to the base. It's not taking any big camps. The impact of the Shadow Priest, man, how much healing did that do? <laughs> Just magic with a 10 month resub. <laughs> do you think this is funny? Happy is legend, lol. That was quite funny. That was a good moment. Happy racing for level 3. Foggy creeping at the same time, almost losing the Ancient, but it will be replaced by Dryads and Bears. Players' forces are under attack. Happy this time. No ghouls. On AZ, it felt like his army was absolutely perfect against Foggy's army. It kind of feels like that again. There's no expansion, so you don't need ghouls. There's no keepers, so you don't have to rush destroyers. Great Samana. And of course we boy claws on this trifecta completed. One level four. But what's that good for? He's getting creep jacked here. He's getting creep I hope he sees this coming. I really do. Oh. Let's get slowed down here. One coil, one kill. Frost one hungers. Gets it an eye. That was sweet. Bears misrallied. Oh my god. Oh my god. Even the item goes to happy. Foggy, this is not your day. Foggy starts the stream very early always. Maybe he played a little too much today. Dark Ranger third already online. Destroyer form coming as well. I'm sorry, but this is not even close. Nothing works for uh, Foggy. Absolutely brutal. Pendant of Energy, Potion of Mana. Yep, the happy drops. I mean, it's one base, one base, sure. But usually Foggy always needs extra income. Or super high levels or something. At least he's rushing orb this time. Are under okay. Yeah, supply lead, no level five. A lot of this game goes down to the Shadow Priest, obviously. This is kind of ruined Foggy's game plan, but I wonder what his initial game plan was. Coil, Nova, right clicks, he's blocking himself a lot. And the Lich's level 2 has Frost Armor. Like, what are these bears supposed to do? It's hero focus, right? It's just a lot of hero focus. Which is kind of working to a degree. Oh, loses the bear last second. Is that buying time for something? Just adding dryads. This looks very one-dimensional. A player's forces are under attack. No echo harass, which is kind of pointless anyway. Maybe you have to go for the ghouls early. 
But Happy was always so close to his base that it was also very hard to find an opening. We don't have a staff. It's just blink. If the one gets silenced... He's kind of dead. Okay, that was good. Player's forces are under attack. Yep. Happy not moving with everything at the same time. It's getting old and rusty. Can he claw his way back? Can he somewhat get to level 5 and let the hero focus work? Then he has to control the shop and prevent banshees. Finally an expo. A player's forces are under attack. Level two blink, rinse and repeat. Super close to five. Where can you find level five? Do you wanna engage? No, you just wanna slow down. Would have been level five for sure. Don't wanna lose dryads for that. Little looks like a little Miss Rally here as well. But okay. Ah, we do have level 5. Somewhere I got it. <laughs> the undead army is just chasing. It's pretty cool. The Dryad slows down reinforcements, which is kind of neat. Every Shadow Strike is a kill. This is a couple of resources Happy is already is unsummoning the altar. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to lose my heroes. Uh-uh. So can we make it to six? Is that even necessary? Here comes Happy's push. He doesn't give one bit about the Night Elf push. Here comes Dryads. Here comes Bears. Game of Chicken. We do have a town portal on both sides. Lots of great inventory. And he keeps Foggy Supply blocked. Lots of Acolytes falling. But how many units will die now? He will not get this for sure. There was no staff before, so it's a bear again. Level three increases the nuke. He's mining with three at the moment. Huh? He is pretty low on gold. This did kind of work. Whoa, Foggy, you greedy bee. Expanding bottom right, is this already the Hail Mary? If this works and Happy doesn't scout for it, this might win him the game. Colbert Shadow Strike. There is an invul. This expo. Oh, I can't cancel it anymore. Happy seems a little overwhelmed and multitasking. Invul here. There's no invul on Foggy, and he still doesn't have a staff. There is mana, waiting for the seven seconds. Close reach of Oh my, if the Nova hits him, if this is an aggressive TP and the Nova hits him, he's dead. But it's not. Foggy kind of expected this. Was kind of defensive. But never fired into an undead base. This was only the Lich with the staff, by the way. This was no TP. So Foggy portals home. Has a decent army. He keeps this expo alive. What a weird game. There's nothing to heal the Dark Ranger. Can... Yeah, that's a kill for sure. Is it? Yeah. With the next tick. Also the Shadow Priest. Finally dying. <laughs> what a slaughter here. One warden to rule them all. The crystal ball coming in handy. And coil coming, I think. Oh, level six. Gotta be careful. Oh, no, the blink. The miss blink. But the feed didn't react fast enough for once. DK hopping, uh, shocking around. Whew, we have our town, a lot of corpses here. We have ourselves a series, as it seems. Again, no nature's blessing. This hurts so bad. But we also have a backup expo. Foggy is not forced to defend this. It seems like Happy has no clue about this expo. It did mine a bit. It did cost a bit with repair. That this is working. 
Acolytes repairing. Happy still not fully mining. Double tower, triple tower. No TP. He got a staff now. He got double staff, actually. One could summon avatar, summon a couple of spirits, but don't want to sacrifice your avatar just like that. Oh, it's daytime. He sees it finally at the perfect moment. And Foggy plays whack-a-mole. So, Happy, what to do? If you defend bottom right, a town is under siege. you open up your base. Third attack upgrade over nature's passing. Like, especially if you go for this strategy, when it's about buying time for one of the expansions to work. Then go, nature's blessing. We do have an avatar here. Expansion still up for the moment. He needs corpses. He desperately, desperately, desperately needs corpses. Gets one feet. Dryad micro is good. Coils were there. But that was one of the last ones. He did use the big one so uh, already. And there are more corpses coming. But it's also a lot of kills. Going happy side. 3-3. Three, three. Dark Ranger. Didn't revive the Dark Ranger. What? They will fall for the DK nonetheless, with Death Pact. No mana anymore. A-bomb is coming, could eat that one. Ooh, that was a big one. A kingdom for a mana potion here right now, but the Avatar is holding this. Another Destroyer is going down. Warden 6.5. Still an invo. Avatar duration still at two thirds. One blinks with the last bit of mana, interesting. A new roar, a new Riju. Foggy the mad mana. In the meantime, bottom left expo is running. Deny with death pact again. That of course means no corpses. When is this Dark Ranger coming back? Is she ever? Lich DK, both low. Foggy has three bases on Echo Isles. More Dryads coming. Avatar still at 40%. That was the one necessary hold. Lich in trouble. DK in trouble. Boom! Lich goes down. And there's only the 7 second interval. I guess that's it. GG! What a comeback. Foggy is fighting. And we have ourselves a series. That was a must win map. And the way Foggy won this... Incredible. Didn't expect this at all in the middle of the map. It looked like Happy is so dominant until he wasn't. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky play. Going for that bottom right expo. It saved him the game. Saved him the game. And in the end... He got the experience he needed, even though there was all slowed down. Gotta tip my imaginary head. That that was incredible. No altar, of course! How could I forgot that there was no altar? I mean, he could have revived from the tavern. But that's so expensive. Yo, guys, I'm casting for the first time in six days. Cut me some... Oh, an eight, uh, an, yeah, six days. Cut me some slack. Yeah, I didn't, didn't realize that. But oh, boy. He did... Not expect that, did he? And now Foggy is taking his sweet time. His very sweet time to get into this game. Next map is Concealed. An MG map? Maybe. Maybe a better keeper map again. But the Warden is working. 
Next time, Remo is arguing once again. Warden versus Undead isn't working. It is. It absolutely is. Happy vs. Foggy Game 3. Who claims match points? Don't know the picks and bans, but I would say it's definitely TS. Was it really necessary to unsummon the altar, by the way? Should we raise the question? If he has to do that. It was a little bit of gold. He was super broke. And he probably thought, okay, this game's kinda kinda child's play for me as well, because he dominated him on the bottom left. Happy what? Now, back to ghouls, huh? Back to ghouls, indeed. As he expects a keeper, and it is a keeper. I mean, he was still mining when he unsummoned the altar. He just wanted to speed it up a little. No backup plan, didn't expect this. Will probably not happen to him again. Who's claiming match points? Happy with the winning strategy of AZ? Foggy with the losing strategy of AZ. <sighs> the Sockish triple base on AZ. Incredible. Whispers close, that's why happy creeping with three ghouls, of course, you can speed creep here. No real need for skeletons. Speeds everything up and foggy. It's just straight up harassing. 21 supply trick. Trying to creep up to level two and then entangle, 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 entangle. This time he didn't deny anything. Good start. Little too late for this. No Aklad in the north to deny. At the moment, just Treants. Not the biggest deal for Happy, but here's level two. And it's just started the deck. Does he want ghouls or does he want Acolytes? Wants Treants and Tangle, he wants the Acolytes. Ooh, so close to the buildings. Always dangerous. This force is Happy to cancel the tech. Even without losing an Acolyte already. And forces a tower. And a backup Acolyte. That shall not happen to him again. Now the tech. That was a good... 20 second delay? A player's forces are under attack. Gets the staff. Uh, gets the staff, gets home. And has an expansion up. That is maybe the time he needed. Also tree and seer. Good creeping by Foggy. I feel the drums. Detonate and entangle. Ooh, this is a good opportunity for Foggy to get something done. Artists are coming in. He needs entangle. Is it on cooldown? Not very sure. He's not willing to go for it to trade mana. But the expo is not up yet. And whatever is happening, it's not happening in the north. So this gold mine is coming up. I really, really hope he goes for Nature's Blessing this time. Not only does he have an expansion, he's also done with attack. And look at this. It's like half attack, one third of attack. A player's forces are under attack. D 
demon hunter again. So experience getting shared right now. Is that level three though? Ah, no, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't getting shared. I was a little ahead of myself here. Big coils, happy with the level lead. Overseer still up for grabs. Foggy gotta be careful. He has a staff. He has the staff. That's level three now. Oh, too close to comfort. No, staff was good. Good reaction by Happy, controlling the keeper with Frostmourne and Coil, but the keeper is needed in the north anyway for creeping. Oh no, the Demon Hunter is out, so he isn't. Wait. Okay, Happy has another Coil. This must be a kill. Kind of close, though. <laughs> okay. Man, if that would have worked. He sees the Garks. Lich as well, but I think it's one base Garks. One Crypt Garks, and it is. A player's forces okay. are under a few of the ghouls not doing anything. Are they getting ready for an attack, or was it a little bit of a mistake? This backup Acolyte is counter-expanding on Tier 2 with Garks. Was it enough time that Foggy bought? He leveled the Demon Hunter pretty well. Got illusions now. Can maybe trick his opponent with that. And it's again air. Foggy is back with the airplay. And this time the tech is so delayed that I can't even blame him. And then we gotta ask, is it worth going Thorns Aura? Interesting push with wisps. Only hippos at the moment. Doesn't have to use the archers yet. Creep check opportunity. Daytime. Happy has to abandon this, doesn't he? Foggy is also not ready yet. Keeper was on the base. No orb, no tier three. Yeah. Two base, two base. Mass archer push. And a couple of hippos. What is this game? Nova hits good coil as well. Foggy already on the ret retreat. No level three yet, and you feel that. Hippos do take the fights, take up the first Garg, but what about these archers? They are getting wrecked, and that's when you feel that an alchemist is missing, or a panda, or something. Sick! The hold. Good damage on this Demon Hunter Illusion. Happy should usually see this. There's some ghouls going down. There's more Entangle and there's still no Destroyers. There's no Destroyers for a long time. We're only at Tier 2. And there's a very limited amount of coils left. Especially with Mana Burn. But I feel Foggy thought this would go better. Very interesting traits, if you ask me. But he denied a level. He denied the red spot. <sighs> a lot of stuff is hurt. He couldn't break through this. Now we got Hippo Riders. And do we have... Well, we go double Crypt Gargs. He's really going into Hippo versus Gargs with the Keeper around. Bye bye, Ziggurat. Foggy is constantly mining from two bases. It's a hunter's hole now. Foggy constantly trying to slow him down. Do we have a staff? Could pass it. Lich level is abysmal. 
Still no tier 3. No orb, no destroyers, no frenzy. And AP is coming. Happy do you scout this. What an interesting game. Foggy mining. And now we get nature's blessing. Incredible how Foggy is keeping happy contained here. Cannot even go for level 2 lit where he becomes so strong. Lots of scrolls. This almost looks like an all in. Like he's not checking behind this. Two APs up. Mm, that's annoying. Really annoying. <laughs> he got level 3-3. Three, three. That's not the end of the world. As Happy is finding the APs. Do we have Wisp Repair? We definitely have Mana Burn. Can't prevent the next Nova, I guess. Happy's trying to outmass his opponent. 57 already. More and more APs. What's the answer? Meat Wagons. Now the Gox come in, but all slowed down, instantly retreating. We do have scrolls there on the Demon Hunter. Needs to be part of this. How many of these APs can survive? Every entangle is a kill. Here we go again. Where are the scrolls? Where are the scrolls? He's not using them at the moment. And he's losing so many of the hippos. Now the protection scroll kicks in. Now the heal scroll kicks in. But I think the guards are just winning this. The APs in range. Okay. What a fight. He's trying to snipe the meat wagon. Maybe he was distracted by that. 49 supply left. More archers. But the meat wagon survives and gets mass repaired. Oh my god, what a game. 51 pop against 43. Foggy is super low on lumber. And retreats. That investment didn't pay off. He switches to lores. Power creep. Happy is distracted by this AP. Wants to break the contain once and for all. Here we got Hood of Cunning. <sighs> Living a risky life. And now Happy with a red spot in seconds. Held of Giant Strength, also not the greatest. What's the follow up? Is it. Ah, these creeps. And hey, what's the follow-up? Like, bears for raw and Riju and then getting sniped? Dryads? Forces are under attack. Happy is finally attacking to tier 3. And once he gets to tier 3, he probably wins the game. Thank you, Scrub King Crack. 23 month, only sub for Neo. Oh, you sweetie hearty. Fast creep here, of course, as well. Boots of Keltalas, a little bit of necessary damage. Tree of Eternity tech starts now, but I think it's... Is that too late? <sighs> creep check opportunity. Level 4. And a big agility tome. Trying to save everything. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? <sighs> we did. Just a little bit of experience. But Happy is at 4-3. XP-wise, it's so close. Jeez. Pretty much down to the dot. <sighs> Triple Crypt Gargs. Double Slaughterhouse. Five production buildings. Can we lame a little now? Foggy still has to hold on for such a long time. And Happy is kind of obviously gearing up for a big attack. He has a thousand gold. When does that ever happen? A player's forces are under attack. Remainers of the rat spot. Okay, he hears that. Good opportunity to snipe this meat wagon, but he doesn't want the meat wagon. Maybe a missed opportunity. 
just burned a little bit. But maybe it's also about every single bit of experience. We do have Thorn Sora now, by the way. And he's going into... I don't get this. Dreadlord third again. We've seen this before. But going... Going Dryads against Garks? A player's forces are under attack. Not sold on that idea. Thank you. Avoluza, 13 month resub. Again, every tiny bit of XP. And of course, shop control replenishment potion. Wonderful. Dreadlord counters the Thorn Sora with the Vamp Aura immediately. Maybe he plays because he has a full at attack group of Garks. He's gonna be so careful to not run into them. The catch is, of course, a lot better for Happy with Nova and Unholy Aura. Foggy Retreats. A new tree here that should probably be cancelled. That is too cheeky. Foggy? Foggy? Okay. There's not much you can do about the Dreadlord. Is Happy ready for an attack? Abolish magic coming now on tier 3. Do we have orbs? We have one. We have one. Decent damage here. 5. <laughs> plus 6. Plus 5. Plus 60 is pretty good. Is that the second orb? Ah, probably on cooldown. Happy used all his gold. 80 pop. Three heal scrolls. Both maxed out. Calm before the storm. One heal scroll versus three. Are you willing to engage into this already, Foggy? I'm not too sure. The heroes went to the perfect position and should, of course, eating some. So have fun. I have no clue what's going on, but I think Happy is owning this fight once again. But for how long? It's been there's Hippo Riders in the air. Oh no! Why is that? Foggy getting absolutely dismantled after an early game like this. That was kind of unnecessary, I think. What if he's not going for that push? But rather text to tier 3. Ah, I think there was a wasted opportunity. He played so well containing him there. Of course, the APs were a big part of why he was able to contain him there. <sighs> I think that was Foggy's game, to be honest. Perfect reaction by Happy, obviously. The fights were just so one-sided. The fight in the bottom right. What happened there again? <sighs> Something wasn't great at that moment. AP was exposed. I don't know, but second fight, man. Having hippo riders against Gargs. Hey, it's, 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 there's no chance. Happy threes, four scrolls with the... With the protection scroll as well. Happy just knows perfectly what to do at what moment. Yo, to you couple of people out there who say nerve you D, if you play Hippo Riders versus Gargs, you lose. That has nothing to do with balance. That's just ridiculously stupid of you guys to say if you have your archers not on the ground and your hippos not able to attack melee in air that's just that's just bad <laughs> i mean there is definitely things we can talk about balance wise but not gargoyles versus hippo riders
So we have a 2 1. Match points for Happy. One map away from $100. And I'm not too sure what's up. But we have a little bit of a break. Not sure about the map yet. Thank you, Master1080. Two month race up. Sorry, I let my sub fade. Neo back with the prime. We're gonna keep it rolling. Love the coverage. Been a big fan for over five years now. Sweetheart, thank you very much. Still waiting for the go. <laughs> Not sure what's up. Maybe a little break in this long best of five. Words, guys, everybody. Dust League Europe group draw. We have amazing players for you guys. A couple of them were invited. A couple of them made it through the open qualifier. Do we have them here? On Liquid, here they are. Mm -mm. So we got Hawkblade, Thorzane, Death Note, Spiral playing, Cooper, Vortex, Craft, Side, The Great Wall, Foggy, Neutron, Dice, Sonic, and Starshape. Plus one more, if I see that correctly. Maybe Bidu will tell you later what's up. Thank you, Mail Manos, for gifting us up. So Foggy seems to be of the opinion that Air is working again against the DK Ghoul build. Okay, seems like Happy is ready. Uh, feels like it was his pause here. Thank you, Master, again for the 200 bitsies. Game four. Match points, Emperor. As we move on to Last Refuge. Do or die for Foggy, but he was against the ropes already. This is pretty much the standard maps we see every time. The last one then should be Twisted. Are we back to Warden? Is it still Keeper? Is Are we going back to MGs? Happy again with the ghoul build. And Keeper was pretty good here. MGs were pretty good here, but the timings were just so paper thin, so tailor made. But Keeper it is. No Demon, no Warden. Foggy, you need a better answer. This airplay on Amazonia, it was kind of your fault. The early game was bad.
on concealed. I think he threw it away, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe three times a charm. Maybe he shows us all that it is possible and that everybody is wrong but him. Or did I miss a certain development in this matchup recently? I think it's just a different way for Foggy to play compared to uh, Dreamhack, where things absolutely didn't work out. We have DK, we have Ghoul, and a fast expansion creep, but Happy has his eyes everywhere on the map, and of course his little hands and the headbutts as well. Can't allow anything to get stolen. Yeah, focusing that Acolyte first. It's the Better way. Oh no, the creeps get the last hit. Okay. Similar creep route. No one is engaging into these little green ones that are oftentimes a little weird. Uh, sorry. That's better. Both with attack. Is there another extra acolyte? Don't think so. Scouts everywhere. No, no, no. So no instant expansion by Happy, that would have been really wild. Yo, Knoop Quakes, the man, the myth, the legend. Nice to see you here, mate. Sentry Wards will help a ton against school run bias, probably. But both are just sharing the midst of the map. Very passive for these two. So Happy, what's your play? No expansion by Foggy yet. He started to play his trees very very close to the main and now dk is already here ha foggy with the sentry ward sees the rest of the army so yeah retreat <laughs> can't really play that a little bit of hit and run oh that was risky <sighs> gets it but okay we've seen this before Ghouls vs. Archers. Happy is in to steal some XP. A nice level 3. This one as well. Wonderfully done. Gets all three creeps after his arrival. Happy now with the sentry ward. Interesting. Don't you ward each other. A player's forces are under attack. Expo is so much later than before. What? Nice D. Okay, he saw it. Nice one. Maybe he used Shadow Meld. I'm happy he saw it. Do we see Garks again? Oh, still in range. Okay, double Garg immediately. No D warding, but maybe on happy side. Shot one kill and it pains so much that he doesn't have level three. It's just it's one ske it's literally one skeleton. Wards don't give XP though. Otherwise, this could have been two ghouls dead, or at least mana forced, something like that. We need something like some kind of kill. There we go. No acolyte here, just a little wisp hunt. Waiting for the lich, waiting for the garks, and the sixth acolyte. Okay, so gone are the days where we brute force the experience, uh, the experience, the expansions. We just counter expand. Demon at a second. As always, Wisp Scout on point, pretty much. Archer say hello. Demon Hunter says hello. Keeper a little far in the back. No mana on the DK anymore. This might be an opportunity for Foggy. There is a dust of appearance. So these archers can't save themselves into the shadows. Oh boy! Lich arrives, but he wants that Lich so bad again. There's no coil. 
I can feel it. He wants this lit so bad, but he's asking for a Nova. Mana burn. Everything so close. Keeper in trouble. Lich safe to the side. Foggy can't get... Can't kill Liches. A player's forces are under attack. It's his white whale. For sure. Demon Hunter coming back, but what's left to do? Again, it forces maybe a potion, but I think Happy is safe. With chasing all over the map. <laughs> Lich just returns on Blight. He's so greedy. He's he doesn't want to buy potions. And Lich is missing here. AP is coming. Will be cancelled. But will the tree be cancelled? Double lore coming. Tier three is ready. Orb will be available. Another new build by Foggy. Not going air anymore. Keeper air was the go-to on AZ and CH. Not here. All oh, risky. Garks are around. Okay. Demon needs to level big time. Oh, if the shop gets cancelled, no orb. Boots of Kelta last for the second time. And level two. The shops need to finish. And what's the play? MGs? Players' forces are under attack. Oh, the Lich save so sick! Boots of Kalthalas on the other side is, of course, not optimal. Optimal is Happy's Gark usage. Not a fan. Of one crypt gargs, but in the hands of Happy. This is just the shop. Oh, there's no repair, is there? He actually holds this. Not bad, not bad. Just needs an orb now. And he gets it like immediately. First thing to go for. Demon Hunter, might he pay with that? No. He's busy on the other side. Invul potion as well. Arches look good. Plus a couple of dryad steps are there. Never got this AP he wanted initially. And Happy, ha he built the 6th Acolyte, but he never built the Expo. Now has a statue here to heal the ghouls back up. And aim for another attack with Frenzy and Tier 3. But Lich, oh my god, plus 10, plus 12... Fifty-two supply. Foggy needs a little more time. Needs to let this expansion pay for itself. Still archers and dryads only. <laughs> Demon hunter damage is not to be underestimated here. Has a heal scroll as well, but so does Happy. Mana stone sink. I want game five. One orb, not two. Shop is closed. Moonwell here is empty. Foggy at 60. One attack upgrade. I, I'm not too sure. An Archer Dryads, really? No AoE. Focus fire on the ghouls needs to be impeccable. But I don't think it's... I, I don't think it is. Like, Foggy was at 60. He already lost 10 supply and counting. He's once again getting... Absolutely smash in the fight. Happy's not losing anything. One, two ghouls, maybe. But you can't deal with the Garks. Like, no chance at all. Oh, my God. Demon Hunter. There's still triple production, but he didn't kill a single ghoul. A uh, single Gark, I'm sorry. Potion on cooldown. A little bit of a sandwich here. But mana is rare. Shop getting cancelled. No second orb. Which I think is absolutely necessary. 
Last bit of juice. Good thing is, he killed all the ghouls. Or almost all the ghouls. So it's harder to kill buildings for Happy. You really want the last bit of juice? Keeper, I see a coil soon. I see a coil very soon. Almost already in the air. <laughs> Demon has to burn. He has to burn way more. There we go. Okay, but this is uh, still a big undead army. Gargs just don't cut it. Don't even have upgrades yet. And this is the end for sure. Another TP, a little bit desperate, I think. That's floodgates open for the expansion level four on the lid. You know what that means. Dark ritual, baby. These fights are so one-sided. It's not funny at all. GG. Every single game that Happy won, AZ, CH, and Last Refuge, the fights are way, way, way too one-sided. I think Gargs don't cut it. Definitely a lesson here. Also, no AoE. And then missing one or two... Mana burns. Kills ya. was a cool cup nonetheless. We saw Pinko and Stronic in the semis. That was amazing. The game on Last Refuge, Hippo versus Pinko, was mwah, wonderful. Happy once again losing a map. Foggy is back at ESL Cups. Coming up with new strategies was super interesting. But in the end, the same result. All right, so that was ESL Cup. We take a look onto the Back to Warcraft homepage to see what's up in the next couple of days. As we have right after this, stay here, Dust League group drawings with a Bidu, as you can see here. Very, very cool lineup for a European tournament. And we will see what these groups will be tomorrow and Wednesday. ESL Meisterschaft. We are back in German. Neo and Remo united the 8,000 euro German championship with X-Lord, Todd, Kevin Schrem, Ente, Ido, Wan, and many, many more. Uh, so many cool plays recently. And all in classic graphics. You should definitely check that out. Theory Craft with Community Replays, number 10 already with Carson on Thursday. Friday, Bidu and me will cast uh, the Tag Team Tournament, Todd's Tag Team Tournament 3, with Lawlight and Soen versus Vortex and Lucifron. That's gonna be hot. We also do the Skill Play Cup on Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are Dust League Days, baby! Thank you very much for tuning in. And you stay tuned in because Bido is taking over right after the credits. So just stay here. And thank you very much for your kind words. <laughs>